It's good of you to ask me, Sam, to tell you how I spent the day. But in the cold black tunnel cell, I hurry close to earn my pay. The cold are full of cold kites. The Houses of Parliament, October 1840. Lord Shaftesbury addresses the Houses of Parliament. The inspector addresses the Prime Minister, Sir Robert Peel. With all due respect, Prime Minister, none of us in this room have any idea what life is like working down in a mine and living in a mining town. Before we make any rules, don't you think we should find out? I agree with you, Lord Shaftesbury. I commission you to interview these miners, find out more about their lives and then report back to Parliament. Lord Shaftesbury speaks to two young sisters just inside the entrance of the mine. Hello, young miss. I am a member of a Manchester Royal Mining Commission and I am here to ask you a few questions about how you spend your day. It's kind of you to ask me, sir. And where do you work? Black House Pit, sir. And what do you do there? I work down tunnel, sir. I hurry working for my father. These wagons, what do you have inside them? Black coal, sir. It's heavy. It weighs as much as an elephant, so they tell me. How does such a small girl like you pull such a heavy wagon? Well, I have a belt around my waist and a chain passing through between my legs and I got my hands and feet, but I'm not my own, sir. My sister's here to help. This is my sister, Beth. And how old are you, Beth? Seven, sir. <gasps> oh, my. And what do you do, Miss Beth? I push the wagon from behind. I use my hands and my hair, and my head, that's where my hair has gone. Are you the only members of your family that worked on the mine? Oh, oh no, no, sir. A six-year-old sister. Big brothers and mommy too. A big sister, patient, stick to hood. Emma Lister K, the owner of Cup House Colliery, puts forward her case for improving the way miners get up and down the mine shaft. I am Emma Lister K, new owner of the mine since my dear father died. I know I am only a woman, but I am still your boss. Look, Miss K, a steep how wide and expensive. That there is nothing wrong with load of paper on a rope or a balance board. They are lower 2,000 feet into the darkness. For goodness sake, man, 20 of our workers have died or been injured that way so far this year. And it is only April. You're the boss, miss. I'm only saying it's been like this for years. And your father was happy with it. I want a steam winding engine with a metal cage. It'll be more quicker and we can lower more people and cold up and down the shaft. It makes sense. We will see that a steam winding engine is put in, miss. Inside the new cage, waiting to be lowered 2,000 feet below the ground, are seven young miners aged between 6 and 13. They are being watched carefully by an inspector from the Mining Commission. Did you hear about the patient's curse? No, no, what? She died. I'm sad. She wasn't feeling well that day, but her dad said she still had to come to work. Still? She had that big surgery, didn't he? Her brother died from it with a week previous. She was so weak, I had to help her into the cage. I do know how dark it is when you get into there. I just heard a scream just pitch of darkness. What happened? She was so weak that she passed down. She fell from the cage and fell to her death. I heard the bang as she hit the ground floor. Deep down in the darkness of Edlington Pit, the Gooder family are working away in a tunnel. I'm coming, Dad. It's heavy. I've been doing this for eight hours without stopping. I've got stars on my hands. My head is bleeding. Don't be so lazy, girl. You are lucky this work was a roof over your head and food on your table. Is your little Billy opening that trap quick enough? Not still scares the stupid boy. 
One mile away from where the family is working sits little Billy, a boy of just six years old. He is sat in a small tunnel in the pitch blackness waiting for the sound of the wagon to rattle along the tunnel so he can let it through. There aren't any monsters that need safe. There aren't any monsters that need safe. Lord Shaftesbury returned to Parliament and relayed his findings. The reaction of the government and the Victorian public was one of shock. And so the Mine Act was passed by the government in 1842, forbidding the employment of women and girls and all boys under the age of 10 down mines. Later it became illegal for a boy under 12 to work down a mine. <laughs>